Assume that the population of the Earth change at the rate proportional to the current population. So the rate of changing population is proportional to the current population, so y. So let y in term of t represent the population at any time of t. So that's why when we change it to differential equation dy dt equals to ky. So this rate of change is increasing. Therefore, our k here is a positive constant. So the first one, write the differential equation which satisfies the population. So this is our differential equation, satisfy the population. So from here, we know that we have two variables, which is t, referring to time, and y, referring to population. So now the story come in. So we take down the story timeline in the year. So this is year 1650, means the beginning of the story time. Timeline 0, the population estimate to have been up 600 billion. So why population here that in the unit of million? We put 600, but this one means the in the unit of 600 billion. Then in the year of 1950, so means from 1650 until 1950, here we have a timing of 300. So the times here, we referring to the years. So the population now will become 3,000 million, so up to 3,000. By solving the differential equation, so fitting this data, estimate the population at the time t. So they ask you to find out what is your solution of the population. So based on our differential equation, we can notice that this is our factor of y. Supposedly, we're having our variable y and t. So since here only have y means this de can be solved by separable method. We correct back, collect back our factor of y back to the left hand side, it will become 1 over y dy. And then the dt, we multiply it to right hand side dt, then we can integrate both sides. So integrate 1 over y, not y. Integrate k respect to t, so it becomes kt plus c. So we simplify until we get general form. Unlock this lawn. It will be base e go to the right hand side and this function become power. And as we simplify, e kt plus means having multiplication for the same base e for power c. So from here, our general solution will be y equals to a e k t. Then we substitute the information given here. So our variable is y and t. So the information here is fine for us to find the constant a and k. Since we have two constant here, that's why we have two informations here. So for the first information, we will substitute t equals to zero, where y equals to six hundred. E0 will give 1, so A equals to 600. Then the second information, we were going to substitute T equals to 300 and Y equals to 3000. So once we find our A, we can use our A here, which is 600. Simplify, move the 600 back to the left hand side divide by 600 which is 5 when we move the e back to the left hand side so it will become long so to find k it will be 1 over 300 long 5 so therefore we substitute into the general solutions here where a is 600 e and k constant here is 1 over 300 ln 5 times t so this is our particular solution 
Then, for question C, use the fit solution, means use this particular solution. And assuming that the greatest population the Earth can support is 2.4, 10 to the power of 10 people. What year will this limit will be reached? So, 2.4 times 10 to the power of 10, we convert it into billion, into million. So, in million, it will be equals to 10 to the power of 6. So for 10 to the power of 10, we separate it 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 6. So in other words, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So in other words, it will be equals to Twenty four thousand million. So they ask when you have it twenty four thousand million, when is the time? So by using this particular solution, we substitute our twenty four thousand million as we divide this with six hundred. Then we move back the E, become non. And lastly, we find the T. So T will be in the unit of years. So this is after 687.6 years. So we round off. We will be approximate to 688 years. So answer the questions. It will be in the year of beginning is 1650. So after 688, So it will be in the year of 2338, where this earth can support to so many peoples.